Hello, this is Ryan. Uh, kind of out of necessity, I'm just recording a quick video to sign of, uh, kind of sum up uh, what's going on with me. Uh, I haven't had a chance to really catch up with everyone I've wanted to yet, so this will kind of hopefully bring things up to speed in a very quick fashion. So basically, uh, around the end of July, I found out that I had uh, acute myeloid leukemia. Um, it's actually been a bit of a, disco a discovery process, but um, it's not the good kind of leukemia, uh, though I am told that I can potentially expect superpower somewhere between uh, gamma and delta level of, of mutation. It's uh, not, that's not guaranteed, and uh, that would only be after the radiation treatment if that occurs later during the bone marrow transplant. So. More updates later about that. Um, basically, I'm currently at Duke Hospital. My room is 9120, and uh, Kay is with me. Thank you very much. Hello. She's over there. Um, she's been fantastic throughout the whole thing, so giving me uh, lots of support, as is uh, everybody um, that I've been able to tell so far. Uh, thank you so much for that. I appreciate it. It's, uh, it's really nice to hear from you all. It also creates kind of a secondary problem where uh, I literally spent the entire day, like my free time today, just trying to respond to text messages, emails, uh, whatever, and I'm still definitely not caught up on that. Um, so I'm kind of kind of try to uh, set up some kind of a website. Eric's gonna help out with that, my brother. Um, and maybe get like a central kind of update thing. And maybe I'll do some of these videos every now and then when I uh, have time. I'm also gonna be trying to work during this whole process. So um, kind of, uh, it's gonna be a complicated schedule. I'm going to set up uh, a calendar as well. So hopefully that'll give people, if they want to come visit or just call or say hi. Um, an idea about when I might be free and what to expect and what the timelines are and that kind of thing. Um, so the process I'm on is basically, it's called 7 and 3 chemo. It's a standard chemotherapy for people with acute myeloid uh, leukemia. And uh, it's basically a week of chemo followed by maybe about five weeks of recovery, um, maybe possibly co consolidation chemo after that if they need to uh, kind of clean up or whatever. And then uh, after that whole process, it would kind of be a, a separate but um, sequential process of uh, followed by a bone, a bone marrow transplant basically, which is itself kind of an adventure of sorts and that'll be a, a separate experience. But um, I've been on chemo for most of, I don't know, about like five hours now, uh, maybe four, and I basically feel no different yet. Um, I'm told that I probably won't feel much different for uh, at least a few days. And basically the chemo just knocks out my immune system, uh, kills it off, and then I start getting sick from the things that most people don't normally get sick from. And then so they take care of me make sure that nothing bad happens and uh, hopefully after then my immune system kind of resets itself and uh, I start to improve and hopefully most of the um, damaged or mutant cells um, not yet having the superpowers of course uh, they get killed off and then maybe get replaced by the ones that do I don't fully understand that process yet but um, let's see what else um, I'll, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll do my best to try to keep people updated. I'm told the roughest part of the chemo is probably going to be about 14 days from now, so around the 1st of September. Um, that's what they call the nadir, which is basically the point at which your immune system is gone, and uh, that's when you're just feeling cruddy. And um, so my, my task is basically to just try to remain positive and cheerful and uh, hopefully active and eating as much as I can. So that'll be basically my goal along with working and such. So if you send me texts or messages or whatever and I don't get back to you right away, I apologize. I really do. I read them and I really appreciate them. Thank you. And uh, if I get the chance to see you at some point, also fantastic. Um, hopefully once I get the calendar published, you get a better idea. Maybe one would be a good time for that just given, you know, schedule of treatments and work and such. Um, trying to think if there's anything else. I think that's about it. So yeah, uh, I'm rooting for telekinesis or uh, something maybe that would let me fly. Um, but you know, whatever, we'll see. Um, thank you very much again, everyone who's you know been there and uh, been supportive. And I will uh, look forward to uh, maybe sharing a little bit of this journey with uh, whoever wants to listen and hear about it. Once I have a better idea, I'll post an update on Facebook or something and send out a link. So thanks, peace, in the Middle East. I'm so old.